basketball. I can't live without it. It comes from within, and then also just what he installed in me. I play this game, you know, not just for myself, but for my family, for my dad, and every memory I pray to him before I go out and step on the court. Without this game, I don't know who I would be. Jace Febris began playing basketball at three years old in Denver, Colorado. He learned the game from his father, Orlando, a former international player in Puerto Rico. I only got to watch highlights. One guy I can kind of relate this game to is the Iceman. Right back in the day, like when I saw him and saw my dad, they kind of had the same kind of game. Really smooth. I think my dad shot way better than him, though. It's just a real smooth game. The jumper was really, really fluid. In 2007, the Febris family relocated to Houston. Five years later, Orlando's health began to deteriorate. He had to go to Arizona, and I didn't know why at first. And my mom told me he had to go down for some medicine. I didn't like know what exactly she was talking about. She was just saying, like, you know, your dad's a little sick right now. I thought positive, like, he was going to get over it, get over it. But as time went on, you know, I started kind of coming to reality. Never seen my dad uh, walk, that, like, walk that way with so much weakness, not being able to talk, literally having to help him use the restroom, things like that. It's just, it, it really opens your eyes and I just hated seeing him like that. Orlando was diagnosed with colon cancer in 2012. By 2014, the cancer metastasized to his liver and lungs. Despite his declining condition, he continued to support his son on the court. Even though he was going through it, he still wanted to go to the gym with me. He still wanted to, you know, do all these different things with me. And, you know, I think with him, he didn't really tell me how bad it was. We were playing our biggest rival, and after the game, he was there. I didn't even know he came. I just came up, gave him the biggest hug. He was so sick, we barely walked, but he even made it to that game. And we won, and that, that just made, made my whole year. I just I love that whole moment. It was the last game he'd watch his son play. September 19th, 2015. It was late. I remember that night before, he was in hospice care at the time. I remember, you know, going up to him, giving him a kiss, saying him, I love you, going upstairs, and uh, went to sleep that night. And in my, I had the weirdest dream with him in it, kind of like this big, shining, bright light that he was just, like, came up to my room. We just took a walk. And then at the very end, he just walked out the door. And when he opened the door, it was just like crazy amount of light that beamed in. I woke up to my mom knocking on my door. I knew. Orlando died at 51. Now, 16, Jace immersed himself in the sport that united him with his father. He received offers from schools including Auburn, Baylor, Stanford. But with those offers came confusion. That was a, a time where you could really, really lean back on like your, your parents back home. So going through a lot of things that boys go through around that time without a dad, the pressure of a lot of different men in my life trying to lead me one way, mom not really knowing what to do with recruitment and stuff because my dad was the one who went through that. So I think that was the toughest part for me, not having him there physically, emotionally, just to lean back on that whole process. I was going to commit to Baylor. I was like, everything that was going through my head. I went to one of my best friend's house and we prayed about it. God helped me out, uh, show me in a dream, you know, you know, be there with me just this one night so I could make this final decision. And that night, I had a dream where I was with my dad here. And as soon as that, I woke up, I knew, you know, I need to come here. Jace committed to Texas in 2016 and enrolled in 2017. In two years under Shaka Smart, he has had an immediate impact, leading Texas in three-pointers made. To him, basketball is more than a sport. It's the everlasting bond between a father and a son. You know, I feel his presence. Sometimes when I'm shooting the ball, I can lose myself. It feels like every shot is just, you know, on point, on, on the money. I just, I know that's him also. Every time I shoot, if it's the wrong way, he's coaching me on it. It's all in my head, but, you know, I feel like he's there. Not a day goes by where I don't think about him. I know he's looking down on me, you know, smiling. 